just checking the box cars to see if we unloaded those last time. Okay. We are live. What's up, everyone? This is Heist. We got a late night stream coming at you. It's not going to be a terribly long one, but we figured we would uh, run some trains and maybe do a little Q&A if anyone has any questions. So feel free and paste what you got and uh, ask us any questions as we move some trains around. So currently we're at the sawmill. We've got our <laughs> dapper named 260 and uh, a bunch of rolling stock. Uh, you may remember that we sent this locomotive to space from this location previously. So that was the last thing we did on this save. Are our boxcars loaded? And then the boxcars are all completely empty. I'm not quite sure what's at the uh, ironworks right now. I'll gotcha. Yeah, let's check the minis work. Do you have the link or you want me to grab it for you? I got it. Feel free to just start, like shoving backwards. Sure. Hey guys. I'm doing well. I had a good rehearsal with my rock band tonight, and it was just kind of a, it was so high energy. I always come back, and it's like, okay, shower, and it's like, I'm still a little amped up. Like, I want to, I need to ease back into my evening and then, uh, and go to bed, so. <laughs> Anyways, shoving back. My avatar is a bird, because that is what heist comes from. Um, I came up with it when I was in like second or third grade. I was like, you could shorten Hyacinth, which is the type of bird that's in the picture, to Heist, and it would be a cool username, and I've been using it for, Lord, like 20 years now or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, um, that's why. I have, I've always... Iron is good for things that aren't raw iron. So should we go get some raw iron? Or see about making some. Yep, just looking for the smeltery now. The smelter has 33 raw iron, not a huge amount. It needs more cordwood and more iron ore. <laughs> of course, it needs more cordwood. Well, we were um, at the cordwood trains back at spawn. So why don't you respawn and then uh, we'll grab the class 70 and maybe run some cordwood. <laughs> Anyway, um, I've always thought that parrots are kind of funny. They've got a happy-go-lucky, like, just silly nature to them. But it's it's always uh, appealed to me because that's kind of how I am. So I've always thought they're funny and uh, seeing their behavior is all that fun. So I um, always had a fascination with them. So that's why Heist is here. So Can I add Y switches? Hey, so um, I did get a bunch of answers about the coming update from QMA. A bunch of answers from QMA. So, um, if anyone has questions about the next update, I might have the answer. I won't have every answer, but I asked him a good 10, 15 questions, and he replied back with exactly what we should be expecting. So, that's exciting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a proper video about it uh, that I still need to record. I'll probably do that tomorrow, um, and then hopefully post it tomorrow or Thursday. Yes, why switches? <laughs> Hey, Beyblade, this is how you get muted, bud. Uh, and this is how you make me put slow mode on in the, every future chat. Yes, Y switches are confirmed. So, let me see. What did, what did he exactly say? Oh, wait, I guess he didn't say specifically Y switches, but the way he talked about switches being created answered that. So, Bigger steam engines, no, not yet. What are y'all up to in this world? We're, we're just going to be running some trains. Uh, we figured we'd run some more cordwood. <laughs> and then, uh, Phenomenal. And then probably run some iron ore as well. So I guess if we got if we got three of us, we uh, we could take the the cookie and the class 70 so we don't have, don't have to double the hill. Yeah, sounds good. I'm down at the uh, sawmill at the base of the hill. Okay. Um, you could either stay there or respawn back to... Um, the yard, the spawn yard. That's where I'm blindly shoving into right now, hoping that I'm not going to run into end of track and or the class point. 70. Oh, okay, good. I have a brake bin. So. <laughs> the next train we're working on, there's a list of all the trains in progress on uh, my Discord. And I'm sure the link in the description is broken once again for whatever reason. 
but uh, let me know, <laughs> and then we could do that. So, yes, three-way switches will be a thing. QMA's exact verbiage was switches will be made automatically when splines are joined. You can then link up to three splines to one spline end. So you could have three incoming splines come into one spline. So I'm just going to Dutch drop these out um, onto the passing truck. Oh, sure. Yeah, we could dump them in there. Let me know when, uh, when I need to shut off. Are you guys are running the 70? The tier one cars. Oh, you're just going to cut the tier ones? Oh, yeah, because yeah, so we're going to stop breaking now. Okay, because we're going to have to come back with the. Um... Yeah. Okay. So we're going to. Yeah, we're going to have to take loaded cordwood and also these empty flats. And that's going to be a lot more weight. We might have to double the hill, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, you want to go run ahead, park those flats down at the smelter, and run a load of raw iron. Um, I think we could do that. And, and I'll start bringing the cordwood train down. Okay, yeah. If you want to do that, I can. I can do that. All right. Well, I'll just run run to the iron mine then. The sell the two lumber you have there at the depots you're going past. Makes sense. Yeah, just get them out of the way. And then we'll, uh, Tristan, are you still at the sawmill? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I wanted to know where the power was. It's, uh, <laughs> it's all with me. It's all at spawn right now. Alrighty. I'll just wait here for you yeah. guys to come by. Yeah, I'll, I'll come There's by. Like some power like, out at the, the smelter. The, um, ice is dropping some stuff in there anyway. Yeah, I think Eureka's still down at the smelter. Yep, Eureka's down there. Two number nines is down there. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you can make a... As Clown said, you can make a switch any shape and length you want. The, the tides are going to be procedural. And the, the guardrails and the frog and, and all that. Discord link oh, is in fact there. broken. Shocker. <laughs> what else is new? Did my mic just break by any chance? No, I can still hear you. Okay, good. Just fine. <laughs> I accidentally opened a, a different program that I didn't want to that could uh, potentially affect my audio. So, All right, new Discord link is in the uh, chat there. Yeah, no map breaking this evening. We're not, we're not on for that long, and I don't know if Pharma has any more nefarious plans at this time. So, Nothing that would make for an entertaining watch anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to stop pulling in just, like, behind you, being real naughty about it. All right. Well, we don't have 10 minutes of separation, but I don't think we have a timetable on the S and d so that's fine. Yeah, fortunately, this is a Class 70, so I can put the white lamps on front. <laughs> okay. So, someone says, can we still have the stock switches so that we, it's easier to make yards? And this was... Uh, this was We've still requested to QMA to make sure that we could still have them because I think that'll be good. But let me see. What exactly did he say? I My question he said was... You can start to snap things to a grid now instead of like having to need those things? Yes. So he's planning on having a grid that you can snap splines to. I was trying to find his exact language so that I could read it to you. But um, it was specific to the 90-degree crossover because a lot of people use that for building... Tristan, could you be a deer and line the switch to the smelter there? The line, well, switches. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to be uh, asking me to yell at the crossing. <laughs> I was ready to do it. Oh, okay, good. Um, no, we're we're going to be <laughs> smelter, okay. Yep, yep. We're yep. heading up the 4%. All right, hop back on. We're good. There you go. Um. Anyways, the 90-degree crossover will not be included, but there will be an option to snap the splines to a grid when placing them on the ground, is the word from QMA. And on the subject of crossovers, just heading this question off now, you, they will cross over to any direction you have the splines crossing over. Again, yeah, crossovers will also be procedural. So the, the frogs and points, whatever angle you need, it will make. A 620 by Britain in 1848. I think I might have actually seen that. 
I remember something cursed like that. Sorry, six pilot wheels and two driving wheels? Yeah, it's kind of cursed. <laughs> Oil burning engines will come down the road. And automatic loading when you stop by the cranes to make it easier. Yeah, there's a lot of thoughts about overhauling how loading trains works. And unfortunately, that's like the next thing down the pipeline. And we're so kind of heads down on the, the massive spline overhaul that that's not coming with this update. and try and get over to the logging camp. Okay, yeah, I see you back there. You should be good. We're halfway up to top of hill here. Clown, we're uh, going to get some raw iron either staged or ready to pick up. Pharma's going to be following us with cordwood. Um, worst case, if Pharma's taking a while with the cordwood, we could grab the hoppers, run up to the iron mine, and uh, grab some more iron ore and then come down. I suppose we could have taken loads over, but we need we're trying to stock the uh, the ironworks up. I'm trying to get a bit of money because Heist wants the uh, Heistler and also need more oil cars still. Yeah. Trying to get some more motive power and more cars. Um, I guess I can announce it here. We've got a fair amount of viewers. Make sure you join my Discord. We're probably gonna be announcing it for sometime next week, but I wanna have an open play session on the map with uh, as many people as we can get. I've never seen more than like 12 people in game at a time. And so I'd love to try and schedule a time about a week in advance, see how many people we could get to uh, come packed on and run the ESND. Uh, and I won't, I'm not saving after that because I assume that shenanigans are going to happen, but I guess I could save it in a different slot. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> that'd be worth saving for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so just see all the, the shit posts people leave on my level. Uh, but I want to have an open uh, play session with me in my Discord. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll stream it or not, but sometime next week probably. So. I think with that many people connected, we're better off not streaming just because streaming it might, is more bandwidth usage. Yeah, it might be too intensive. We'll, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll just record it. Um, or maybe it could have somebody else host so I could stream. I don't know. There's There's options. So. I don't know. Maybe the popcorning will be more amusing, make better content. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. There's no specific channel in my Discord for Scrap Mechanic, but I mean, you could post it wherever. I'm mean, I'm not a huge content Nazi on my Discord, so. Yeah. Radiation we asks. Peyton over here. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love Peyton. Peyton is great humans, but um, yeah, he doesn't need to mod my Discord. I'm way too laws affair for that. Um, radiation asks when's the next Twitch stream? Uh, good question. Twitch will probably, I mean, probably next week sometime, if I had to guess. Uh, I've got my, uh, a very good friend of mine's bachelor party this weekend, so I'm gonna be out Friday and Saturday. Um, which would be the, the key Twitch stream times, so. Uh, dedicated servers <laughs> spelled decated servers nailed it um, eventually they are in plan but it's down the road because that would also end up with a, a bit of a rewrite so it is 12 24 p.m. Uh, right now so or a.m. a.m. not p.m. at West Coast United States you just did you just oofed you gotta make a Super Mario sound for that <laughs> oof he, he, fell, he fell off the, the high bridge. That's funny. Yeah, someone asked earlier, you've been awake for 12 hours since your premiere? I was like, well, yeah, I woke up at 7.45 or 8 a.m. this morning, my time. So I've technically been up, I don't know, 16 hours, but it doesn't, I mean... I got broken by the railroad and working night shifts. Uh, sleep just comes when it comes. <laughs> so. The 30 hour day was a, a regular thing in my day. <laughs> I got broken by yeah, warehouses. These... I gotta wake up early every morning now. 
Ugh. That's what you get trusting autocorrect at 2 a.m. Fair. A farm location after the spline update. I think farm is at uh, somewhere between the sea sawmill and the lo logging Oof. camp, so. I'm lighting cold wood right now. So yeah, he's at the logging camp then. <laughs> no, for a farm industry, um, I'm not sure if we're going to add a farm industry to this map. We'll, we'll have to see. I think see like grain and livestock, especially if we're going to have towns in future maps. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to see whether this map remains uh, throughout the history of the game as is, or if it'll just be replaced by larger, better maps that are more thought out for the more industries and towns, or yeah, if this will, multiple maps. you know, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have multiple maps. That's the, that's been the plan. Um, but, uh, whether or not we'll keep this one just as is for old time's sake when it's not necessarily the, the eventual scope, uh, you know, we'll never know. So that's still in discussion. Oh. I mean, hey, maybe with oh. workshop support, people can just oh. add the extra industry oh. one. Oh. A derail counter? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. You want you want to you want to come back? That's an ESMD. You want to come back up here? I'm not even sure why that did that. that you were looking away at chat. Did. We weren't even going that fast though. Six in the dirt counter. Is it six? I'm not, hang on, streams catching up now. It one, two, seven. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So, ba boing, 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 ba boing, boing. Let me grab that. You know what it is? I just deleted all this random groundwork for uh, for saving these. <laughs> Thought to teach me for my hubris. <laughs> we must punish this mortal for his hubris. What a cruel and angry guy. I'm uh, glad that you immediately knew what that was. This is why we're friends. It's one of my favorite things. That is one of, that is one of my favorite things, too. Oh, <laughs> Shall he nestle it into the bosom of the elder the, the elm lock? Or leave it room to grow? Give it room to grow. <laughs> you don't my get it. I'm sorry for you. My lord, there is no place for a square. Don't okay, question his methods. <laughs> we're just gonna oh, we're gonna quote Sorry, everyone. We're gonna quote uh, fifteen year old college humor on this stream. That's what's happening. What's what's wrong yes, with him? Humor. What's wrong with him? His dad died in the minefields. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> that timer is gonna keep on ticking until it reaches nine nine nine. What happens then? Nothing. You just suck. <laughs> oh man, just digging deep into the well now. <laughs> this, is a, this is a time, everybody. Oh, oh god. Okay, yeah. almost all, almost all back. <laughs> We've got the uh, the the front pile now. If we could get, uh, let's get some breaks on these, and then I'll pull ahead and see if we can't fix the middle piece. Yeah, um, so people who are saying eight derails in 17 minutes, well, we uh, we just derailed eight cars in this one. We're not calling them derailment events. We're ca uh, counting derailed cars because that was an easy thing to track for video purposes. So that's kind of what I've been using with the derail counters. And um, that one, <laughs> that one's still pinned. <laughs> so I'm just oh. dragging it sideways. It's, um, that's, uh, that's fine. Oh. Oh, well, it's going to pull everything else off, apparently, so I'm going to stop. The people wanted stronger pins, so that's yeah. what they get. <laughs> they get the stronger pins, let me tell you. It was actually a hitbox thing. They weren't even, like, designed to break. Thanks, Cody. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> it is a feature. Ding. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have an unprotected shove going through as a client in maximum speed reverse because the reverse loop at the logging camp sucks. I didn't make it. Don't look at me. I'm not, I'm not I even... I who made it. I'm not even sure who made that one, actually. It just appeared one day, and we all, like, pointed at it and said it sucked after trying to drive at it. 
Oh, that might have been the German kid, too. That would explain that. No, he didn't have that much time. <laughs> he... <laughs> like, I know he really just, like, one passed it at maximum speed, everything, but I'm pretty sure he didn't have time to run all the way to the ironworks, all the way back, all the way down, like, again, running track, because you have to make, like, two passes of that thing, and then spend, like, half the stream bothering you. I'm not sure who laid it then. I, I genuinely All don't right, know. You ready for this rear consist to roll yeah, towards you? Bring him, bring him ahead. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get all slowly the, release some brakes. Get all the brakes. Are off you these. pinned or should I pin this one? Uh, you should pin this yours. This one's pinned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the old pins, you sneezed at them, they break. The new ones, you need to be Hercules to break them or run a train like ice. Ouch. The German loop made the kid. Or oh. yeah, the German kid made the loop at the Freight Diva, that's right. <laughs> I was wondering why we weren't rolling very fast. It just. Um, <laughs> they just combusted. I don't know why. <laughs> this, this curve is the problem, I think. Because mm. it. I was going. Like, I was going not too fast, and that, that was what derailed us there. So that's two more for the counter. And I'm going to update my derail counter on stream rather than uh, deal with the car that I just uh, put back on the track. So, you know, see what happens. Streamer. Dug. I mean, that's why we're the maintenance of way crew, except the way is just like wherever we happen to be at this time. Yeah, th this way has not been maintained. The way is shut. Yeah, was said he was going to die at some point, so I just decided to, like, leave it to him. Okay. All right. Kick the brakes off, and we'll roll this thing down. <laughs> we love yeah. how ice can drive a train IRL just fine, but can't drive one for crap in a game. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> it's kind of funny that, that, that this is what people like to see, because, uh, yeah, I don't play terribly many train games. I do, I do play and enjoy Rare Woods Online, um... Obviously, my operation is not necessarily the problem. It's my own track laying, which is a whole other story, but, you know. We need I'm to tell you now that in this... some city skylines so you can lay better splines. <laughs> yes. Opinions on Australian steam locomotives. I don't know terribly many. I've seen some. And some look nice. Some of them have, like... Popping Billy is based. They have like dual buffer and coupler setups, which confuses me. But the, that uh... sounds like something we do. <laughs> so it probably serves no purpose except to confuse people. It was made by those who derailed, and the derailed keep it. I love it. <laughs> so we should just start burying flat cars in the ground in the fill. <laughs> that. That is the railroad way. <laughs> you joke, but that is the railroad way. <laughs> oh no, a new embankment. Tragic. I, I wanna <laughs> right say I wanna say that there was a washout at either the Cumbrace and Toltec or the Durango and Silverton recently, and they unearthed the frame of an old like a mega old rear grand engine that had rolled over on the spot and they just ballasted over the top of it. Oh my uh, god. It'll crazy. make good it'll make good riprap. There you go. Use it. <laughs> I know it um the time it made sense. The Lincoln car shop or the Havelock wheel plant in Nebraska at BNSF. Um they found a, a, an old steam locomotive buried used for foundation. Just like, oh yeah, well we don't need that. It's just pour concrete over it. Okay. <laughs> Man, the past was a wild time. Yeah, just, yeah. And pff, no, you can just bury that. Pour concrete on it. The only way you can save trains from being scrapped. <laughs> yes, yeah, just fill them with, fill them with, oh, well. Preserved. What is a fill and a cut and a through? I'm not sure what he means by a through, but a fill is kind of what we're running on where they fill the ground in underneath the train with dirt, or in this case, a stone wall and dirt. 
a cut would be where or they locomotives. where they cut away <laughs> or locomotives. Yeah, a, th- a cut would be where they cut away at the rock so that they can run tighter, and we can't do that in game right now because Unreal Engine or something like that. Um, they say engines are the foundation of a good railway. Beautiful. It's funny. Do I know anything about yeah, I mean, the dirt? We pretty deep the other night. We, d- we did. It's true. Right, we're lined into the yard, so I guess we'll see what happens with that. And we're not lined into where the flats go. So let me just back up past this so we can at least stash the flats where we need to. Which track do you want them on? Um, over by the uh, raw iron loading. Okay. Okay, so got our six hoppers. We got some cordwood cars over here. Those are static. What? Yeah, we just unload to those. Oh. No catching anymore. <laughs> I see. I was like, why Why do we have these? Scrap the wheels. Just take the trucks out from under them and call it a day. Okay, so we have 33 raw iron. I don't know how many f- flats we have. I think we have 11 or 12. If we have 11, we could just load these and go, but I guess we got to wait on Pharma to bring Cordwood anyway, so I guess we could just go run up and back, see if we can't meet him. Yeah, we got we got 12 flats. We Although, by the... Go but, grab the raw iron. I think you'll complete that trip by the time I get down there. Grab the raw iron rather than uh, um, no, the iron ore of the hoppers that should be down there. That's okay. That's what I thought. All right. Let's go grab uh, that. Right. South end of the yard. Uh, we should be able to get over those hoppers and then run out pretty easy. Just because Pharma relayed this. So you want to you wanna come, come hither? <laughs> I mean, not when you say it like that, but I'll sure run that way. <laughs> Are we going to fix the trains to space glitch? I don't know. I guess it depends on if the rerail tool is going to stay the same with the spline update. It depends on whether or not the way... Because all the trains are having... Like, essentially, their method of propulsion being updated as part of the spline's rework. Yeah. So it depends on whether or not they'll continue to be able to add speed regardless of being on a spline or not. That, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. We'll have to see. And I'm putting some groundwork under myself so I can get back in my locomotive. <laughs> All right. What will the spline update exactly do? A lot of things. Um, there's a, I made a vlog called the spline update progress, I think, dev vlog number one. I suggest you go watch that. It'll give you a good overview rather than me rambling on about it. Um, unprepared as it were. Got one more switch. Oh, never mind. Switch stands are confusing. Oh, you're all good. Come yep. on back. <clears throat> the half flower confuse you <laughs> no that the two switch stands uh i saw the first switch stand was lying the wrong way but it was for a switch on a different track which would not follow with my design requirements Get for my go. railroad uh my actual railroad my job railroad not my <laughs> not my video game railroad uh tristan you want to run so i can uh answer questions without worrying about everything You've promoted to engineer. You know the subdivision. Go. <laughs> I'm going to make sure all the brakes are off. I'm sure you already did, but nervous tick. Okay. Let's see. Cuts instead of fills. Not for a while. Uh, spline update. We already answered that. Cuts planned for the game. Uh, I mean, so really far down the road map, maybe cuts and tunnels if we can port to Unreal 5 and get a voxel terrain base map, but that's a huge overhaul. 
<laughs> if there were to be rain, the Smelter Valley would just be a lake. Yeah, pretty much. You're all about the Darjeeling Himalayan, ra Himalayan Railway. First time you saw it in a video. It is neat. It's really, um, it's really charming. Itty bitty trains really slogging it out. Yeah, certainly, certainly charming. You love the chuffing and the new sounds. Glad. Uh, I still, I need to actually uh, fix one of the chuff loops for Kume still. How will groundwork and bridges work in the new spline update? Uh, let me let me give give some Kume answers about that. Will there be varied widths of ballast slash groundworks? Yes, there will be different ballast widths and heights available. Is that clown that I'm hearing? That's clown. He's having an aneurysm. It's nice. too bad, really. Let's see. Will we still be able to place tracks and groundwork separately? He will make a separate spline for groundwork, but the standard spline will include the rails and the groundwork together. And that's pretty much... What about flat, shallow, wide groundworks? That's possible and rather easy to do, so that'll come as well. Different time periods, yes. Well, I mean, we're going to get up to the 1960s. Having fun up there. Always. Cheers to you, Chris. Day-night cycle will eventually come. Yeah, it's not in plan for this update because we got about a zillion other things to do this update. But um, we actually did receive code for day-night cycle for Unreal from um, another developer who was interested in our project, I guess, and sent it over our way. So it shouldn't be terribly hard to implement. It's just uh, more of a nature of then needing to deal with headlights and cab lights and motion of those things and performance issues and... It's always nuanced, right? So. So diesels, we didn't get terribly many diesels uh, on the narrow gauge. There, there's a few. We're planning on talking about doing a internal combustion tree and have a couple, um, but it, there just really weren't that many. So it's not gonna be a expansive, huge, massive tree, so. Every galloping goose ever. I, I do want the geese. I think the geese would be great. Insomniac. Add them, workshop will add them. Right. Insomniac Brit Gaming says we should upgrade to Unreal 5 sooner rather than later. And uh, we could quintuple the amount of complaints about how performance hungry our game is. Seeing as it's already so performance hungry as it is. And it's still in beta. So, yeah, we'll get down there. Will there be whistle, whistle customization like with smokestacks? I asked Kume this. I did the thing. I asked the question for everyone. Will we be able to pick different whistles for each locomotive? Whistles can be changed so long as we have different sounds for them. And we have different sounds for them. I sent Kume a couple five chime loops, a couple three chime loops, um, and a six chime loop or two. So he has a number of different whistle sounds to work from now. So... We should be getting some more whistles Good. at some point. The that was previously given for that was that the goal is that the whistle, like each train would have their default normal whistle, and then you can unlock the other whistles as an option later. Yeah, that is that is the the, the hope and dream. Uh, I We'll see how achievements end up getting in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a stopgap in between of just buy it with this whistle, but we'll see. Um, I do think that would be a better mechanic, though, is that you're stuck with the historic whistle to start. And then uh, as you progress or whatever, you can change it in your roundhouse, so. Just curious about crew vehicles. We, well, we already have a hand car, come on. Different weather effects, yes. Will we get procedural switches and crossovers in the new update? Yes, you will get procedural switches and crossovers in the new update. The questions are repeating sometimes, I know. Is there going to be plans for a tutorial with, like, voice acting? Yeah, probably at some point. And, you know, it's probably going to fall to me to actually do it. But, uh, yeah. That'd be awesome. 
do the thing. Hello everyone, this is Heiss. I promise you I sound this masculine always. Welcome to Railroads Online. <laughs> Hang on, I can I can even Welcome to Railroads Online. In a world where there's no tutorial for this railroad game. Hang on, do I I have my Oh, I don't think I can pitch shift with this. Well, if we're talking about tutorial right. for a railroad game, we should uh, commission Clown to do the voice lines for that. <laughs> it would be great to listen to his voice for that. <laughs> favorite railroad museum and any railroad museums I haven't visited that I'd like to visit in the future. Oh, my favorite. I mean, I'm biased and I love my Colorado railroad museum. Uh, that said, I think one of the nicest ones I visited was the railroad museum of Pennsylvania. Um, that that place is just gorgeous, and some of the restoration work they've done is gorgeous. Um, that's that's like a primo facility. That's great. So, are Sanders just a visual bugger to the help? They do help if you're slipping, but that's the only time that they help, and you don't tend to slip unless you're running a climax. Couplers eventually, yes. Split knuckles first, and then uh, actual knuckles later. Any plan on using water towers? I mean, a limit on how much the tower can hold and be refilled. Yeah, I mean, the water towers already do that. Uh, Control, this is number three, requesting information on the schedule between the sawmill and the smelter. Sawmill and smelter, track and time granted to number three, out. Number 14 is occupying between the smelter and the iron mine. And we're actually almost to the iron mine somehow, but still want to cut out at least half of this freaking run. <laughs> You'd love some shorter switches eventually, and what is what is a procedural switches? Uh, yeah, that's what it is. You'll lay two splines, and then the game will figure out what the ties and switch stand need to do. So you, you will be able to lay shorter switches, longer switches, wider switches, narrow, narrow switches, curved switches, three-way switches, whatever switch you need within, you know, an angle of reason so that it, you know, there's going to be a cutoff point where it's like, okay, that doesn't work, you know, uh, um, whatever switch you need, you, you're going to be able to have. So... Will you ever go to the National Railway Museum in North York, England? I gotta make it over to England. I've never been. I've been to uh, I've been to Ireland, been to Dublin, and I've been to uh, I've been to the Frankfurt Airport. I've not been to Germany proper, but I've been to Croatia and Serbia. So I've been to Europe a couple times, but never specifically in England. But it's on the bucket list. Voice chat or radio? Uh, we're hoping to get a text chat first. But then maybe voice chat uh, down the line. It's just a lot to add. So I have some hot takes on that. I don't think voice chat is worth adding to a game because I've seen games with voice chat added and nobody ever uses the in-game voice chat. I mean, in-game voice is typically pretty crap, right? I mean, the, the amount of audio code it goes into it, so... How advanced their diesels would you possibly be getting? You know, the White Pass New Yukon was getting new diesels for revenue into the 80s. They're actually even still getting new diesels. I don't think we'd be getting the most modern advanced stuff. Maybe, I don't know when the DL-535s were made. Those would be neat to have, but I don't know if they're going to meet the scope of the game, but we'll see. Um, center cab switchers, um, things like DNR GW-50, the geese, uh, gas mechanical engines, that sort of thing we'd see. Three-way stubs. I don't think we're going to get stubs in the new update, but three-ways, yes. Lake Superior Railroad Museum, no. What are some of the ways boilers can explode? Many, and most of them involving not enough water. Assuming normal maintenance. If the maintenance is not a thing, then well, you can just add more reasons. the choice behind using the Unreal Engine. Um, it was a lot better to deal with than the previous game using the Unity Engine. 
multiplayer says hi. Yeah, multiplayer says hi. <laughs> I mean, that's really the secret. Wanted to make it a multiplayer sim, right? So, Why are British locos more colorful than American? All right, here's my hot take that's going to alienate a good 30% of my audience. Uh, because the American locomotives had to pull significant amounts of freight and had long distances to travel, unlike the British ones. So we didn't have an army of people to wipe them down. That's my hot take for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say something like, our locos were too busy working while theirs were too busy like getting gussied up. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what I said, but yeah. No, you British... said it in a much nicer, less blunt way than that. Well, it's fair. That'll do. Um, <laughs> the, the British engines are really pretty, but... The amount of work it takes to keep a coal-burning engine that clean, uh, it's just praise to them. I wouldn't want to do it. We're only going to get 45 iron ore out of this thing. All right, A head one. Oh, hang on. I must have lost one somehow. So we're only getting 44. Okay, A head one, number 14. Where are you at in this world at the moment? Oh, I snuck in, didn't I? Did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were here for a while. I just was like, I'm a, wasn't I'm a that'll do. an opportunity to refer to you. That'll do. How do you stop a runaway locomotive? Depends on the runaway. Thankfully, I've never been... The only runaway I've been involved in was a, a, an act of stupidity by others and was solved by throwing a chain under the wheel. It's not that much of an exciting story. It was just somebody... Um, Stromboli. <laughs> thinking that chains worked uh, in tension. Or not in tension, in compression. And uh, you can't push rope. Anyways, I had one. I'm just very quickly fixing what Heiss asked to be fixed. A head 114. Trust Dan. <laughs> Wake up. How did the narrow gauge past and present deal with emergencies? Stop, 14. It depends on what you mean by emergency. They're all unique and different, and everyone has to deal with them however they can. Can push frozen rope, but that—that's um, I wasn't within the confines of the plan there. <laughs> okay, I think that's loaded. Okay, a head one. It's it's not even one AM for me, Preston. It's getting close, but that'll do. Did you hear whistle? Oh, I don't hear whistle yet. I can hear the train. The clickety clack of the track. Clowns out here hearing the mournful crying. All right, A head one. Uh, someone asks, have I ever been a part of a train crash or seen one? Not in person, thankfully, knock on wood. Half, 10 foot, still 10 foot. Anywhere in there is great. Right, I'm just gonna let this run dry. Oh, 
Okay. Take him down the hill. I'll go run grab the switch. Looks like we're out of both beams and uh, lumber. We're pretty close. Three beams, zero lumber. Gotcha. <laughs> Look, ratio. All right, you are lined down the hill. I'm at the switch, I'll hop on there. And like a good ES and D man, you're just sending it. It's a heavy load. Got to get down the hill fast. Those are my instructions. That sounds like the ES and D thing. <laughs> well, the new engines will need cool coal depot for fuel eventually. Yeah, when we get coal burning engines, we'll have a, a coal depot like facility, and same with oil. So, well, I do a video on smoke boxes for furrows probably at some point. The goal for today, we're just we're just running some trains and chatting, doing a little Q and A. All right, I'm back on the rear. Let me know if you want any breaks. It's only two percent though. You should be able to run them in buff. Doubling the hill Sounds good to me. Line is absolutely, uh... Sorry about that, James. You need a second operator. No, it's just annoying having to double the hill. Like, cordwood's already annoying enough with how quick the smelter uses it, and Heist's save is not very optimized for cordwood. <laughs> no, it's not. Best tip like for... You don't like the loop? Cards at the bottom of the hill from the logging camp, then you take six up, leave them there, come down, bring the last six up. Are you saying we need a line like Carnes that runs down through the middle of the... No, Big it's loop. not like down. It's the, like the 4% <laughs> up from the sawmill to yeah. like the... Thing. But if we go level from the um, logging camp over to the this gorge, and then do the big thing down the gorge, and split through the middle of the loop, we'll have a way to get the cordwood down easy. <laughs> About cordwood going down the loop, it is just yeah. I think one of the project one in the future is maybe running line over. Any word on if existing track will need to be manually replaced in the coming update? I asked Kume this, and my question was specifically, so you get the full language, will we need to start over with new splines, or will they replace the existing ones? The new splines cannot combine with the old ones. I will have to check to see if I can write a piece of code to convert them. In theory, it should be possible. So, same answer we've always told you. We don't know yet. <laughs> but Kume seems to be positive about it, so... Yes, it's a fingers crossed. Yep. How did the penny on a rail be able to derail a myth, train myth come about? I have a feeling it comes from the old contact patch um, saying with steam engines where I think Baldwin did a test or one manufacturer did a test where they placed coins in front of each driver's contact patch and it was not able to scale up it because it was trying to pick up almost all the locomotive weight, you know, like a 16th of an inch or however thick a coin is. And so they were able to sit there with the throttle wide open and the bar all the way forward and it wouldn't move. Um, and so it came like the insurmountable coin thing. And I've always assumed that's, uh, you know, passing down the gamma telephone through generations. That's where the whole... Oh yeah, a penny can derail a train thing comes from, but obviously it's speed. It doesn't matter. And when it's only one versus one, you know, precisely placed right up against the driver, so the driver has to climb it. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. Three more on the can, please, Heist. <laughs> Ten four. Just dropping them. Where would you? Where would you derail? On your oh. stupid passing truck. On the stupid oh. passing track. At the top of the pass? Yeah. Oh, sorry, four. Ugh. <laughs> Boy! Will there be male cars or passengers in the far future? Sounds like you need to watch the passenger car tech tree video. Where'd the term highball get its name? Um, they used to have ball signals back in the day. It was an early type of signal. 
uh, where it was kind of like a ball on a on a string, and it was if it was high, it meant you could go. It meant the same thing as a a um, uh, what's the word semaphore in high position or up position it means you, yeah you can go full speed. Go ahead, go track speed. So high ball, leave. It's a fun term and it just stuck around. coin myth may be continued by parents to keep kids off the tracks. That's probably a better take. I don't have kids, so I don't think of the, the white lies to get them to not get hit by trains. <laughs> Maybe I have fixed that spot that causes the derail down the... You had a little wobble in the track that went to the right and then back to the left and then around the tight corner. I took the wobble out. Perfect. Thank you. So uh, someone asked earlier in chat um, any tips for new builders trying to learn track. The the man you just heard speaking is Clown, and he has a whole tutorial series that is 15 like episodes now. 15 <laughs> episodes now that is like the gold standard for how to lay the best track in the game right now. And his track is gorgeous, and it's the best track that I have. Are you coming back to say hi to me instead of running the locomotive? came back to let you know I have to go close a curtain in the other room, so uh, train's all yours. <laughs> Who's running this train? Itself. Engineer and fireman are both asleep. Sounds about right. That's happened before. He left it with no brakes. Cheeky boy. It's 2% down, it wouldn't be. I, mean, I saw Tristan's deal. consistent in his server, and yeah, he just leaves his trains with no brakes on. Well, you know, when are we adding more trains uh, after we finish the spline update? Because we have to re-implement every car and locomotive right now. So implementing more that are not finished, it's a little difficult. Where are we headed? We are headed down to the smelter from the iron mine. It's my train running. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, we're heading Maybe to the smelter. Bit. I've not saved in a bit. I should probably do that. Can you keep playing on your save after the update? Yeah, we're still sorting that out. QMA thinks it's possible to replace the existing splines with the new spline types, but we don't know yet. When are we going to add new soundtracks? <laughs> we're working on it. I've got seven songs done. I'm collaborating now with Wings and Strings to add even more. He's a brilliant bluegrass player. Um, and he's been working on some good tunes lately so we've got a, a couple more in the works too and then I've got about five or six in my head that I've not yet to uh, get to record I had my basement flood and I had to kind of blow my drum kit apart and uh, move all my stuff it's all yours now take it Tristan um, copy that so <laughs> I've not been in a recording mood because I if I want to add drums, I have to like reset everything up, and it's a whole pain in the butt. So, you're on worlds in the future. Um, if you have the Unreal editor and modding, sure. Time period right now is like up to 1890-ish. Invite to the Discord is expired. Yeah, it expires. Even though I said it to not expire, this new link in the chat should work. Uh, link in chat is the link to my Discord. So. Wings is also a fantastic artist. Yeah, from what I've seen, he does great art, so. Train in the Back to Future is uh, Sierra number three. So, that's a standard gauge oh, engine, so I'm we can't up. have it. Hop a car. Hi, Matt. No, Heist is fine or Mark's fine, whichever one you want. 
How many man hours it takes to I'm model and back. code a locomotive from scratch? Uh, something like 150 to 200 each. User built switches and or curved ones. The switches are going to be procedural just based on spline collision. So curved switches, three way switches, short switches, long switches, whatever switch you need with, you know, within, uh, oh, within reason. Damage was oh, not that bad. I just had to tear the floor. Order. Up. Stop. Connected. If we thought about getting another coder, help out QMA. We're always offering that, and QMA, it, it's up to him. So um, we have a breakage here as well. Let it roll forward. But then, why is there a climax from 1905? Great stop. question. Oh, it's gonna come back on. It's gonna let the. Well, you didn't give me the proper I whistle signal for through. asking what you're doing, but Tristan, we're stopping at this location. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to know. We were approaching a yard limit, so you were supposed to blow one long, and I would have told you what to do, but you gave a warning whistle instead. That's fair. Uh, I was worried about what Clown was talking about. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about what we're we were doing here. Yeah, don't That's worry about fair. Just... Okay. I was away. I didn't know. <laughs> our double well, connected ahead. Our double slips going Pull to be ahead. in the new update. This is my favorite question that I ask you, May. <laughs> Will we be able to make single and dual slip switches? I don't know what oh, a single or dual sli one. switch is. <laughs> yeah, Qmay doesn't know what single and dual slip switches are right now. So I explained what they are, and so maybe, but. I wouldn't expect them in the first edition of this update, and we didn't really have them on the narrow gauge, so I wouldn't expect them at all, but we'll see. You'll be able to approximate something with a diamond and a close set of switches with the way the splines are going to work, though, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, you're lined. Number 14, a head past the switch. We'll back into the iron unloading. And I'm lining you on the drill track so that we're out of conflict uh, with the main line. Half. Quarter. We've got him. Pull ahead. Do we have brakes on? I've got three set up with 50. Okay, that'll do 14. Bring him back, 14. Yeah, double slips are expensive and complicated, and they're not terribly common in the US, or they weren't. They might be now um, in more locations using them in more dense areas, but that's not really something we have too many of. I've never seen Which one in person myself, the, so. Was it the one closest to the cliff face that caused the derail or the outer one? The outer one. Okay. You probably see the kink where it has to like bend to connect to the switch. Yeah, yeah, there's a le left left and a right where there shouldn't be a left and a right. Ease him back to walking speed, number 14. Okay, that's a pretty good speed. We could do maybe a touch slower. Yeah, go, go General. You want more brakes, do you? That's good speed now. Keep no, that. I just saw, thought I saw some links getting broken, but it was desync. Yeah, it's just desync. We've got a little bit of popcorn going on here. I think we might go for a fourth. Oh, I fell off the train. Okay, last one's uh, unloading now. It's not prototypical. We'll break from the front. It's more stable in this orientation in game. Okay, and then uh, take a may head and we'll store these on the track over from here. You know, from the back, it's every second one I've got with 50 on. And there's four on there with 50. K-37 will be added a long time away from now. 
You live in the Pacific Northwest. Do I know where any steam locomotive touring lines are? The only ones we really have in Washington anymore are the Northwest Railway Museum, where they run the 924 uh, in Snoqualmie. The Chehalis in Centralia is having a lot of problems, and their steam engine's out of service. Mount Rainier Railroad in LB is waiting for someone to buy them, I think. I think they're up for sale. Um, other than that, everything's down in Oregon. One more. That'll do. Back them up. And uh, you ha Oregon, you have the Oregon Coast Scenic, and you have the Sumter Valley Railway that both run steam. So I don't think there's anything in Idaho. Compass feature, snap to compass. Uh, that's not a bad idea. We, we do need to make better surveying tools, so... Train Guide 10 and 9, we don't talk about whistle blasts and what they mean. They're not in my Steam 101 video. That's kind of tough because every railroad <laughs> every road back in the day had slightly different rules on it. Um, so I could do one that's like the Rio Grande narrow gauge one, but it would be different than a lot of other different rule books and timetables. And East Coast railroads would be different and different than Brit British ones. And um, I guess it might elicit a fun conversation, but we could definitely do at least, you know, what some yeah. of the trains we know in game would do. So, just do the cool ones. So, you yeah, just do, down just do the cool ones. We don't go just come out with one of your friends, and, and like, because that's what they did. That's pretty typical. Geese and Bumblebee paint scheme. We'll have to wait to see. Better looking to me, K-37 or Class 70? K-37, because I don't like the Class 70. Everyone thinks I like the Class 70, but I only like the Class 70 because it's a facsimile of the C-19, which is the modern counterpart of the, the Class 70. I don't like That's any strange. of these... I don't like any of these old locomotives, personally. They're very pretty, but um, I like them to have air brakes and train brakes and modern appliances and have more than a sneeze of power. So... More than a sneeze of power, he says, is the C70 is the most overpowered in engine in the game by the fucking and leagues. It, it's still a two thirds the power of its modernized counterpart. Bring him back. Yeah, but like compared to every other engine we have at the moment. But it's still pissant compared to every other narrow gauge engine that still runs. <laughs> I mean, it was a hood, yeah, or, a hood ornament when we ran it in front of 491. Than 1910, so. then we can start talking about that. Well, they were talking about in general, so. They asked me K-37 or Class 70, so it was uh, fair for non-in-game uh, non questions, because we don't have a K-37. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Are there air brakes on the tech tree? Yes. All right. Keep bringing them back. Take those brakes off from the cars. Where, uh, where are you guys at, Pharma Clown? You got a half car to go. We've just gotten off the, like, just past the underneath of the first loop. Um, no, gotcha. I can't take the brakes off because I just tried to jump up onto and I am now in the bottom of the valley. <laughs> and nice. I'll see you when you get there. Oh. If you want to start <laughs> loading stuff there, Tristan, um, I'm going to yep. line these guys into the cordwood yard. Um, I'm going to be wanting to go to bed somewhat soon here, so once they get all on the rails and maybe when they get down to the smelter that's where we'll call it so give us a little bit more time but and you still have three breaks at the percent <laughs> if we could make the rio grande railway just as a map you could play on well unfortunately um the states of colorado and new mexico are quite large and that would be a little bit difficult to just make one railroad that big Oh, hey, there they are. Cloud saves are not in plan for now. Probably when we get de dedicated servers. You just, yeah. like, generate maps from height data and import, like, export them off onto the workshop pretty easily once all the hooks for that get implemented. Yeah, you certainly can. That's not hard to do, but, um... Obviously, the scope of it is the challenging piece. You couldn't... Do, I mean, it may be challenging to even do like a chunk that is the Coombrace and Toltec and the Durango and Silverton. I mean, even 64 miles in one run linearly might be challenging. So, non-US engines, no. It's all, it's all going to be American three-foot gauge. We have some export 
uh, American three foot gauge, but even that's a little bit of a stretch. So single wheel drive. Who's no. that down in front of me? That's me. Could you line me left, please? You don't want to come into the cordwood track? I thought I was gonna like pull all the way up and then back in. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, you're you're okay, already. I'm like up brakes. I lined you into the. I mean, you could pull up to the stationary cars on this track. We 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 set the uh, the hoppers at your way, so you should be able to just come up right alongside these and do the thing. Unfortunately, uh, someone's already made the Thomas right. trains. That's one of the first mods that's appeared in the game. Vomits. Yep, started with Pink Betsy, then we got Thomas. They're not yeah, lined all the way like the through, so let me grab you that. Passenger car. Their second take at the passenger car doesn't look half bad. The first the first edition looked pretty bad, but second edition didn't look so bad. Like they just cut the entire car from pure sapphire. Switch tower location, like that would be a mechanical interlocking, which we never really had on the narrow gauge. I think it'd be cool as a dude that deals with interlockings. That is my job. Um, that would be neat. Okay, number three, one and a half, one, half, and that'll do. Yeah, I'm not getting the option to overload. But this uh, it says zero out of eight when I look. Oh, I was looking at the uh, wrong car. Oh, I get it now. There yeah. we go. Yep, yep, yep. You gotta really get close to the hitbox of the first car to make it do that. Hang on. Okay, um, a head two. So I'll join your company and someone else can start pulling the train forward. No, oh, sure. Someone um, I think that bug's there. If the... the UI, then he won't get money. Yeah, that's right. He won't get paid. I'm very sure that bug's still here. <laughs> you don't get paid if you're in the UI. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess... Um, if the, like, the person whose company you're in is in a driving UI. That's... QMA. Come on. Well, that's that my first person is a thing. has been there for months now. It's been here for months. That is the first time I've heard of that one. Uh, it's come through at least three or four times a week in the... Yeah, the problems with the bugs reports. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. You can get filled into the cars. Well, apparently that's what I'm went stuck. On. Well, he'll he'll unload you out. You'll just come out with the corridor, right? The problem with the bug reporting channels is that there so many go. false bugs get reported that the real ones tend to fall by the wayside, and unless they get to our attention, they don't tend to get to Kimei's attention because Kimei doesn't really read the Discord. So. All right, I'm all stopped here. It's hard to tell what's going on back there. Uh-oh, we've got it under control. Keep rolling it. Okay, I'll just keep it going slow, I guess. Then you guys just do what you can do. Yep, this is just how you unload laws of cordwood at once, ladies and gents. <laughs> this is silly. I like it. <laughs> is this an exploit? I mean, kind of. I mean, side loading wouldn't be a mechanic if this wasn't intended. <laughs> Only using game mechanics, so... Yeah, this, this is using <laughs> game mechanics, but how easy it is is a little silly, but that's fine. US 3-foot gauge does have the beautiful thing that is called standard gauge loading gauge. 491 and the K36s and K37s are a standard gauge loading gauge. I mean, they're 11 feet wide, so... 
Uh, Dero account's just from tonight. It's Dero account per car. Is the update going to make it easier to build on to turntables? Uh, we haven't even talked about turntables yet because we've been so focused on everything else, and the turntables really are not that terribly important right, right now. Stop. stop. But yes, we do need to update the crap out of turntables because they are tremendously awful at the moment. So. Yes, indeed, whistle codes for breaks. We'd probably just use the Rio Grande rulebook because we're biased. And yes, the, the um, corner that was causing all the issues on the loop is fixed now. We come down through there, no problem at all. Excellent. All right, well, I'm going to back this up so I'm clear of the main line, and, and we're going to sign off for tonight, I think. And you've got lots of groundwork, so you can actually get off the train down there now and get back mm -hmm. in again. Beautiful. I think I got all the bits that have been repaired. Thank you. Yeah, I see that. Appreciate that. Diesel yeah, that's engines, like what I like to call probably. A smart way to do cord wood. It is smart. I mean, it's smarter than switching it out or building a oh, silly bridge. I think, yeah, it's, but it's quicker than yeah, unloading and then kicking the empties. It's definitely quicker. Oh, we need crying operators. 14, one car. Okay, I'll get this. We can wait till this consist is now fully loaded because we have enough. And then uh, and then we'll sign off officially. So, almost one there. One car, 14. Half car, 14. Yeah, the, 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 Half the game, car, 14. The game is in a so quarter, early like, access yep. state, which is why the updates are taking so long. I mean, 14, stop. stop. We, were, we were updating once every, shoot, I mean, a week or every other week. But this update has just turned into a monster of rewriting the core of the game. So that's why this one's taking so long, so. <laughs> Is this alpha, beta, or even gamma right now? <laughs> it's uh, technically an alpha. Lane, back two cars. I'm pretty sure we're on Zeta right now. <laughs> uh, 14, one more car. Oh, I want to be on Pi because I'm hungry. 14, half car. Half. The update for the game has been in the works for... 14, quarter car. About a, God, I want to say it's a month, but it's probably been six stop. weeks now. XDH Wilkes, good day. Welcome, welcome. We're uh, we're about to sign off because I'm in the U.S. on oh, the West Coast. It's quite late. About to sign off. Do we wanna do the flying iron car? <laughs> Let me get it. Let's finish this up. Get a save. And and it is it is one two three. This yeah, uh, was, I just had a, a thought about it. I'm uh, if if we could do it real quick, perhaps. But oh, yeah, it'll be super fast. Like after we uh, load the last two cars, we'll just back have, it up fourteen. Like a save go down, and then we'll back up like one more car while I'm re-railing a different car, and you can go stand on it. Perfect. I I can agree to that. One car. Half car. Quarter. And stop. So the last update to the game was a month ago. It was small. The last big update to the game was the 1st of February. So we're coming up on two months. So about seven... Seven-ish weeks, somewhere in there, vaguely for update. Tristan's throwing wood at me. I've never, loaded. I've never thrown wood. All right, All right let me Good. save and we'll and we'll. Wait a sec, don't save yet because I want to be out here in the open and I don't want to have to reload and be stuck in the ground. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, saving now. I'll be standing on groundworks when you go to save. Okay, we're right, saved. I'm going to come here to the rear car. I'm going to get it re-rolling, and then someone needs to drive the train back a bit. Well, I'm on camera, so it's up to Clown or Tristan to drive the train back into it. Like, I won't launch it immediately. We'll have enough time to get everyone on. Oh, gotcha. Beautiful. So, 14 back, one more car. Half car. 14, you can stop. I've never thrown wood at people off the locomotive, but we did have a snowball fight on 346 once. That was some of the get most fun on the railroad. Firewood would tend to hurt. It would. Alright, are we ready? Yeah. Yep. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> one time, it doesn't do it. Jesus. Well, shall we try another one? <laughs> yeah, there was um, there was a time it was snowing. Oh, what? What is? What? 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 <laughs> He's gone. Things things are happening there. Is that is that the is that is this what you were trying to do? Oh wow. That was that, <laughs> that was a launched. thing. <laughs> anyway. There was a time when I was firing three forty six and uh I was going to lean out to see what the injector was doing at the overflow. Um and <laughs> I was leaning out the cab window. And I got nailed in the side of the head with a snowball. And then it was war. So I looked back and my two brakemen were standing on the front platform of the front coach. And they had snowballs in their hands. So I used my coal scoop to fish up some... <laughs> oh, God. What's even going on? Um, I used my coal scoop to fish up some snow off the side of the railroad and... Climbed up the pile of coal and threw snow at him. Someone complained on my YouTube uh, and one of the videos about how I made it sound so easy to climb up over the coal pile, and they didn't think it was really that possible. And I was able to do it with a big armful of snowballs, so apparently it's really hard. Oh lord! I think the key is uh, if you get on it and it starts doing the thing, you can't move. You don't want to misbehave in the way I want them to misbehave, though. Oh well. Well, smells like Kenosha is playing. It's now ended, and we've and we didn't have the desired outcome. So, I think one one more shot, and then uh, and then we'll we'll have to be finished here. Oh, that's, that, that derailed everything. <laughs> this is pretty entertaining for me. The conductor's pretty good at surfing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glued to it. <laughs> oh, well done. I don't... Uh, it, the Got vec it up there. The vectors it's choosing does not make any sense. It's just... <laughs> Flying through the sky and going whichever way. I'm glad we finally got one. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. In case you ever wanted to see your entire map from above, someone said, why don't we add flying? Well, here it is. It's already available to you. Yes, trust Palmer to find Oh, God, like I'm this. coming down. Okay, it's launched me off. The car the car crashed and landed on the high bridge perfectly. Are you shitting me? Oh, my God. It landed on the high bridge. It threw me off up the canyon a bit, but um, it didn't land perfect. It's not like it landed on its trucks, but it's uh, it's load side up about a third of the way in on the high bridge. <laughs> but yeah, raw iron is uh, one of those entertaining loads. 
<laughs> one of those loads that's got the physics problem. I, can't, I just saw on the stream it really did just bounce off onto the high bridge. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm standing on top of the car on the high bridge uh, after having been a part of one of the many ESD space flight endeavors. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, it's uh, it's late for me, and I've got my real job tomorrow. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna do a big, like, real dev Q and A kind of uh, video talking about all the things about the spline update. Uh, hopefully for tomorrow or Thursday, probably Thursday if I'm being honest. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. And make sure you join my Discord. I'm going to post the link in the chat one more time. And then... Uh, Don't forget to update the minis work. We'll update the minis work. Well, we, we yeah, didn't... Uh, oh, God, that means one of you guys did something. Okay. Well, anyways. No, I just want to update so I can keep an accurate track of the industries. Oh, fair. Never mind. Okay. Well, with that, on that bombshell, good night. Bye. I'll see everyone.